kind of demonstrate how to microtune your bridge. Um, and I'm going to get into it very basically um, because I, I, I normally don't really microtune that much uh, on occasion, depending on the guitar. Um, it's got a lot of weird high frequencies going on. Sometimes you, 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 need, to, you need to do that. But, uh, but anyway, how, what I do is I take a pen sole and I mark where the string is. And the only uh, strings I'm going to intonate are the B, G, uh, A, and E strings. The first string and the D string you don't mess with. Um, I set the compensation for my guitars at about one and a half millimeter back. And they leave the, that, that, that set so that the uh, string leaves from the leading edge of the bridge like the front part here. That's where the string leaves from. That's where the it's in, in, in intonated to. So, but what I find and what most people will find is um, if, you, if you flatten the G string, it plays in tune better. And um, also what I find is that the, the second string, the B string, really benefits from, from uh, flattening of the hair. Now, I, I'm not, at this point, uh, demonstrating, um, you know, tuning it with a tuner. Because, first of all, I, I just believe that, you know, you could, uh, you, you, you could micro-tune it for this particular guitar with a tuner and, and, sent and, and, and uh, adjust it here and then listen to it. But chances are, um, each set of strings are, are slightly out of tune. You, you, you can never really rely on it. And so I'm just giving a basic uh, kind of ratio of compensation, not an exact compensation. So I've had a lot of people ask me how to do this and um, where at home you can do it. And what I have here is just a regular diamond nail file, okay? And um, this is something you, that all guitars have at home, you know, it's not a special tool. So what I've done is I've marked here and I'm not even taking the strings off. You can do this one string at a time, loosen one string, kind of move it out of the way, and then just kind of sand the leading edge of this uh, bridge, or I mean the, the saddle. You know, back and forth. And, you know, this, at least for my guitars, my saddle is kind of wide enough to do this. Some are, are not wide, so you have more of a problem. So I, here, I, sharp, I flattened it about a millimeter right there. Okay, so that's, that's the second string. Now I'm going to do the third string. Same way, the diamond file. The third string kind of benefits by going a little further back than the second. But again, this is not, I'm not, um, I'm not micro-tuning this to a tuner. I'm just, this is about the correct ratio. And actually, I think the ratio is more important than the actual uh, tuning of it. I mean, unless it's really off. You know, so. You have to use your intuition about this. So I've done the second. Third. Fifth and sixth. And do this so you can see. Okay.
And you don't want to do it flat like that. You need a break. So you're going to have to go down at an angle, a slight angle. Okay. Then once you're done with that, you get some 600 grit sandpaper. Um, in this case, I'm using some uh, micro mesh paper. And then you can just go back over this, smooth it with your sandpaper, get a nice clean edge, and then um, get the pencil mark off there. Again, I'm just demonstrating this is, so you don't have to take off your strings. Just a quick fix, you know. Now, if you want to do this uh, and, and do exactly what I did with, uh, and, and use a tuner and, and see how, how flat or sharp your strings are and then adjust it. Um, I mean, obviously it only works if you want to uh, flatten your strings. You can't sharpen them. Uh, so uh, if, if, if you, you can get a tuner and a good set of strings, some, some strings that you're confident you can rely on and, and use those, and um, uh, then micro-tune it. But, but basically, you know, you're looking at about a, taking this back about a millimeter, this about a millimeter and a half, this a millimeter, and a millimeter and a half, so something like that. But it, that's not exact. But uh, this is more the way how to do it. And anyway, this video is at the request of uh, Michael Isla. So I hope you uh, enjoy it, Michael.